1989 was the Tony Keady affair. There was a bit of a saga emerged with Tip and Galway. Um, there was a, after 88 and even the early part of 89, we met in the league final of 89, which was a rip roaring game in Crow Park. I think Galway won by two points the same day. And um, I suppose the teams were meeting so frequently in big matches at the time that a kind of a bad feeling emerged. I in 89, I, I went to America and um, was hurling over there and I didn't realise, let's say in 89, that I was doing anything wrong and uh, I remember Sir Farrell um, ringing me in America that I had to come home for the hearing, as the man says, and uh, the hearing was anyway that I wasn't going to be allowed to play in the All-Ireland final, which I thought was ridiculous, like, you know, because I was really only in America promoting hurling, like, you know, and when they did suspend me, like, you know, I... They lifted the band in on everybody and they were going back to America the following week, the week after that, in droves, like, you know, so it really wasn't fair. It's a red, they are gone, Brian O'Mara and Liam Dunn. Well, it, st it stays popping up again, like, you know, and it's only when someone else happens to, like, in Brian's situation now, like, you know, that I come to light again, like, but I mean, for the media and that, that time, like, you know, I just stood away from them, they just wrote what they wanted to write themselves, like, you know. But I mean, it was every every paper that was printed every day, like, you know, there was something on it about it. Every one of us wanted Tony Keady to play. Every two player wanted Tony Keady to play, I'm certain of that. And um, it's just, it's, a, it's an unfortunate incident that could have been, avoided, could and should have been avoided. This is English, around the half forward line, getting a lot of more space and leeway. Two for a second, Tony Keady couldn't play. We wanted to beat Galway, winning All-Ireland, and beating Galway, they were the power at the time, and, and it had to give us credibility, so, I mean, being competitive and being sporting, you want to beat them at their best. And Tony Keady was, without question, the best centre back, if not player, in the country. I was I was in the dugout watching that, the match that day, like you know, and uh, it's just it's no place to be, like you know, especially when you know you should have been playing, like you know, same situation with Brian, like you know, he he he, he mightn't sink in as much now until until, until the, the the throw in, but I mean it's 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 un, it's, it's nerve wracking to be just sitting in the line when you know you should be out there. Like, Tracy doing well, unstoppable at uh, centre-half back. And we selling Sean's spoke on the day and everything, like, you know, Sean was a good, strong man and, and well able to hurl, like, you know, and I probably wouldn't have hurled as half as well as Sean Tracy on the day, like, you know, so it just goes to show you maybe we did get beaten by a better team on the day. He was absolutely outstanding on the, on the day itself, and Keely would not have been much better, but I'd say I can remember the very peculiar atmosphere in Crow that day, very peculiar, and... Even after the game, we were in an all Ireland final, but there was no excitement, it was, it was hollow, it was anticlimactic. I don't know what it was, it just overshadowed the whole day. Uh... In 89, I, I lost interest in hurling completely after 89, like, you know, because I was done with totally injustice, like, you know. And uh, my, my career finished now, I was 27 years of age. They lifted the ban after that on people going wherever they wanted, like, you know, and uh, there was no lesson, only they, they, they taught me a lesson. They just thought, made a scapegoat of me that time, and um, that's what happened, like, you know, so we, we lost our three in a row. It could have been Pat Fox or Nicky or somebody that said after the 91 final that they felt they won two medals on the one day. It really galvanised the 89 medal, and also having beat Kilkenny, kind of a respected power in Hurling, in and all Ireland. That, uh, as I said, I thought, I, I thought it was a fitting comment that we did win two all Irelands in 91. It's definitely history for me at the moment now, definitely, definitely. Just that you, you will still meet that person that will always bring it up, like, you know, and uh, uh, there will always be the Keady affair, like, you know, whether, whether this affair will ever drop or not, I don't know, like, you know. I thought it was gone again, now he let turned up. <laughs> that was my award, that's what I got. <laughs> I suppose we better mention 89 at some stage this, this program, huh? What do you think? Ah, sure. I don't think I don't think I don't think we're going to miss it. I get the ticket. You always break down this. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, it's just been on the way. You're not quite I guess could you go to him in early America? Well, Jimmy should go and yeah, definitely for you. We beat him in in the league final in in '89, and uh, I wasn't in a steady job in Galway at the time, and I decided I. Even if I had got a job, I was going to go to America anyway, just to see what the what the side of the world looked like. And the love of the hurling and the game, the, the sport that I liked, I brought my gear with me in that, and I was going to play a bit of hurling over there. So we were, I was hurling actually hurling for for Leash over there, which was a which was all the Galway team, nearly you could say. 
like that, we, we were paying the final over there uh, to Leash and, and, and Tipperary and my brother like Nurse and Noel, he flew down from Boston down to the African match and both teams were inside talk and I had nearly decided, I had decided I wouldn't play. The next minute then the, the dressing room door opened and out came the blue and gold jersey. So as I always say, I said, what more motivation did I want to see the, the Tipperary guys? So I talked and I played anyway. Margaret Mirsha, you know, get on the figure, not for a call, if you marry me, Nordic Aft Hall, because could you believe in Finrechted? Ach, we have for a call, and I know that, put the law that put the Yakanish in the Hayden, if you're right, you are just not typically. Kidder's story, Harish, Mojo Hain, Mar Waldor Holly, I guess, Mar, if you go for it first to find out the guy, you know, no, we are in Casa for a cushion tony, a lot of shack, and a lot of tower, I guess. I was able to get a little bit of a cost. I was able to get a little bit of a cost. I was able to get a little bit of a cost. I was able to get a little bit of a cost. I was able to get a little When we went in for the appeal, everyone was telling me, keeping me hopes up that I was going to get off, I was going to get off, and I trained with the team right up to the last week, and I just melted when I couldn't, when, when they gave me the final decision on the appeal night. I was taken away from, from Crow Park, like, it's where I was after killing someone, like, just to, just for a, a bit of sport, like, you know, it was just absolutely devastating, and to this day, like, I never forgive any of them lads that were sitting behind that table for, for, for suspending me for, for what I was trying to do, promote the game of hurling. Cameras were in every corner of Crow Park trying to catch me coming out. There was hundreds and hundreds of players in the exact same situation oh, was... as you could say, okay. But you know, it was just that they seemed intent on making a scapegoat of you. It upset the whole balance of the team not having Keedy, because in fairness to any time you went out in the field, having Keedy there even as the person, he was guaranteed to get you two or three points from freeze. Uh, he, nothing will come through the middle. There's Sean Tracy, highly regarded for many a season. The pity of it is, of course, that he had to wait until the Tony Keeney suspension to get the championship call up. Um, Sean played well, but we'd have probably played better as, as a full six-man back unit, having, having Keeney there. Kevin, when you were born in the country, when you were born in the country, when you were born in the country, you were born in the country, you were we learned we we would not on distraction machine than than So our focus was 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 not as good as it should have been for a team that's going for three in a row. Referee, the popular county Wexford official John Denton, who was also in charge of this year's league final between the same two counties. McInerney over the ball. The referee going in as he received a blow. It'll be interesting to see what he decides to do here. He decides that it's going to be a throw ball. McInerney picking up a blow to the leg for his troubles that time. Great catch by Brendan Nitsky ahead of Bobby Ryan. Giving direction, adding a bit of guile as well. A quick look over his shoulder there. Soloing it forward. And the referee, quite correctly, I think, awarding a free out because I think he overstepped. As he looked over his shoulder, in my view, he took more than the four steps allotted. This is the Linsky incident again. A one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Yes. Well, in fairness, I think he might have uh, he might have been in the right on that occasion. I think I read it incorrectly. But he said to me he was either biased against you or he was a shy referee. And I said back, he was both. Anyway, let's move on. I'm getting angry now. That's not good on your famous occasion. I honestly believe that John Dinton was biased against us on the day. There was a few crazy decisions. He took more than the four steps a lot. Sylvie's touched him for the ball, and the next thing, English falls to the ground. The referee has had a word with Sylvie and Nade, and he sent him off. I couldn't believe what was happening. I think Mickey was looking for a free. He wasn't looking to get Sylvie sent off. Sylvie got his margin orders, but definitely did not deserve to get sent off. And Michael McGraw has been sent off for this challenge. So Galway are down to 13 men. The Akamisha, Hopper McGrath, Egenev, Enrod, Kusulish, and Rother Rinish, and Lash, and Rio Vida. The Achter Kunstboy de Hellesigade, yeah, and repeat, August John Lachie, Warnachon. 
That was fine or too like you just wonder like what sort of a knock would would put him down. Pete was the type that even if Horty wasn't gonna die. And if he went down at safety bounce back up, he wouldn't go down. Like the the steel in him, the finity steel. If Mike McGrath was ascending off the fence or Sylvia's ascending off the fence, so was was John's. Pitch totally infuriated. Afterwards, it wasn't disappointment that heads were down and tears in your eyes. It was pure frustration. And it was the following day, and we were in Larry's pub in Loch Ray, and we we're having a pint afterwards. And somebody said, well, "They're going to have a handy final now against Answer." And I said, "What? Answer didn't beat off it. I never knew. I never knew. That's how focused I was on the game before, and how infuriated I was afterwards." Me, would I start again in 85 and work my way up to play against the Brera in all Ireland semi-finals, semi-finals, even to get another crack at 89, I'd do it. I'd even take Denton, you know, um, I don't know how the outcome would be, but he wouldn't finish or I wouldn't finish, I don't know which. I'm now in a position to join an elite club, each with three All-Irelands in a row, Cork, Kilkenny and Tipperary. The hand of fate, however, made a dramatic intervention. In 89, uh, we lost Tony Key, the close suspension. And uh, in that right, on the Sunday of the to the All Ireland Save Final, Matt Nocton just casually went for the ball and turned on his knee. And he was out. He had a major operation after the crucial ligament went. Matt Nocton was a, a major loss to us playing to Brady. And as well as that, he and Lowell Lane was our star in the previous years to Ryan Dippin' Gold. Lowell Lane had trouble with his back. He wasn't able to. Field was either in 89, so as well as losing Tony Keeney, we lost that knock in the end. So there, and we were still only beaten by three points and four players were off. So the goals wouldn't put us on that day. The boys went to America and some of them didn't come back, mainly Tony Keeney, and there was one or two more that didn't come back on the panel, but Keeney was the big loss. He got suspended as such. Now we thought maybe we'd better get him. We were told if the New York board suspended him, that would be it. And when they did, the hearing the GA had parts in Dublin said he didn't get long enough. So they just gave him an extra suspension. He was kind of tried twice as such, or found guilty twice. But which, whether he's right or wrong, the point is he was the one that was penalised and they were doubt him going into the semi final. And uh, losing that semi final to Tipperary under the circumstances in 89 was, was a major disappointment. Martin Ockton was out injured, Steve Mahan was injured, I myself couldn't talk because of a back injury. And uh, then Sylvie was put off. Sylvie often pulled hard, but he always pulled fair. But in this occasion, he didn't pull at all. And uh, got sent off. And uh, Hopper McGray got sent off for a, a challenge, which was, I suppose, it was it was hard enough. But uh, I'd say nine times out of ten, he'd got away with it. Despite the unfortunate events of 89,